Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I just wanted to give you a quick intro to the video that you're about to watch. So basically this video, this session came about because Sean and I managed to get my, our hands on some of these new Nedlox EWG weedless Ned Rig hooks. So basically, you may have seen these before, our standard Ned Locks. That's a standard Ned Rig hook and this has a worm hook, an extra wide gape hook on there so that we can rig that soft plastic weedless for fishing in heavy structure and that sort of thing. So basically, this session, we ended up up a creek. The weather was terrible. It was forecast to blow an absolute gale. We had a fairly low high dropping down, so not ideal tides, but we thought, look, we've got these jig heads. We want to give them a crack, so we're going to go and get into this creek and grind them out and see what we can find. So basically, we had our Ned Rig kit with us. So in here is a selection of Ned rig plastics, so TRD bugs, TRD crawls, slim swims, TRD hogs, uh, some Z-Man 2.5 inch grubs, all those sorts of things that fit well on the Ned rig. And we sent it up with our Procure, had our stealth leader there, so nice light fluoro leader, 10 pound we're fishing in, even though we're fishing in amongst the snags. And you can see that tray of Ned Locks jig heads there. So basically on one side, I've got standard Ned Locks, on the other side, I've got Ned Lux, Ned Lux EWG, so that's the weedless jig head, available in 1 15th, 1 10th, 1 6th, and 1 5th ounce, so a variety of sizes. So generally in a situation like that for me, I might kick off with something like this. So that's a 1 10th ounce in orange, which is a nice strike trigger head with a TRD Bugs 2.75 inch on there, so lots of movement on there. So that's my real shallow edge and brimmy type presentation. And then I also fish a heavier presentation. So this is a one fifth ounce in a green or a black with a 2.5 inch TRD crawls in Drew's crawl color, which is a really good color in those dirty water of those creeks. So that's generally how I kick things off. And then you can change it up from there depending on what's working. So basically Sean and I launched off the mud bank out of it, dropped our kayaks in with his truck and fished a fair way down together. He then bailed and came back up to the truck and I just carried on through uh, and pulled out at a local bank and wheeled the kayak home. So the trick was, once I got rid of Sean, the wind blew an absolute gale. So I still nailed another brim and a couple of little flatties and I gave you guys a bit more of a run through on the gear and how I fish it. But uh, yeah, good little session. Main thing was to get out there, chase a few brim and flatties, fishing those weedless Nedlocks EWG hooks. So here we go, fish on. Uh, I've got a um, one tenth orange Nedlocks EWG with a Hot Snakes TRD bugs, just for starters. There was a tough call between that and a Drew's Crawl um, TRD crawls. That one little tree under there looks good, eh? Looked fishy, eh? Oh, yeah, he nailed that. That was cool. Just a little brim, but it was, um, yeah, pretty cool. Well, he's not that little. <laughs> that is cool. We thought there'd be a fish up in that little drain there, just with that tree there was a little bit of bait in there he's not a monster but pretty cool on the weedless nedlocks ewg he had no problem eating that and getting pinned pretty solidly beautiful beautiful oh, that nedlocks hook definitely found its mark beautiful Oh, there's a bit of action up near that stick there. Bit of activity up near that like lone stick on the bank there. I reckon he's up here at this tree.
Yep. That's where the bait was flicking before. <laughs> that's crazy. That just that little stick out there. That's where the um that's where the bait was flicking before. And I was just I threw a few casts before I got to it, but yep, he was sitting right on that stick where the bait was flicking. Beautiful. Yeah, he's not a giant, but he's alright. <laughs> awesome. Did you just come out and nail it? I just gave it a shake on the bottom and then he had a whack at it. Pinned him just under the chin though. Fish are on. What it, oh, flatfish. Awesome. Nedlock's EWG? Yeah, man. Weedless, yeah. Yeah, on the bug. That's cool. Like net failure, yeah. <laughs> you want me to throw your net or you're all good? No, I'm good. Come back to me. Come back to me. Oh, he's a nice one, mate. Yeah. Hey. Beautiful. Up to the side. Can you hook? That is awesome. That's cool, mate. That is cool. Are these, um, oh, like, just ramming, day, just ramming there. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. Need let's stop the crazy. Nice, laddie. Look at that. Yep, drilled that little yeah. deadlock CWG. Awesome, man. Is he hooked in the top of the mouth? Yeah. Yeah, when I was fishing the prototype ones, boom, top of the mouth, eh? Yeah. Oh, Solid. You know how you get, you get that shake out? Yep. Sometimes you're always worried with the, the normal ones. Like... Well, he was sitting like, right up in that snag, so I dropped it, let it sit there, shake, boom. And he just... He grabbed it, and I felt the weight pick up. A bit more weight. Yep. Yep. For sure. Make sure he was on that side. Boom. Showtime. That was cool. Nice fish. Drop the craw in, hey. Drop the craw in. Little flatfish has nailed it. Nedlock's EWG, one fifth ounce in black. Z Man 2.5 inch TRD craws in Drew's craw colour. One of my favourite creek combos for that dirty water. They love that Drew's craw. Pinned in the top of the mouth as well, again. Pinned well. No, he's only a little tacker. Cheers, mate. He's back in again. Yep. Another little flatfish. I'm loving that little course. Oh, oh, he's in the lap. <laughs> he's in with me here somewhere. Now the aim is to try not to throw anything back in the water with him. Yeah, some uh, strike trigger head, eh? I've got the full green black head on, but I've got a heavy head on that one for... That was my deep edge thing. Yeah, I've got a one, one fifth black one, deep edge bite, and then a one tenth on the other. Just whatever happens, eh? There's a drain over there. Go catch a brimbo. 
Yeah, and I guess there's not, like, it's not a big tide to force a huge amount of bait up here or anything. Yep. Whoa! Launched the micro flatty. <laughs> Almost wore it. <laughs> He's a little fella. That little weedless Nedlocks EWG has no problem hooking them. Right in the top of the gob again. Pocket rocket. He'll be a metery one day. Oh, you on? Yeah. Buckle up, mate. Flatfish? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm coming over to you. Oh, solid. Yeah, they got a good hookup on those little EWGs. I'll get a um, get a couple of snipes, mate. Oh, I drilled it at the yak. Oh, you Yeah. Another good one, eh? Yeah. He came up off the bottom to drill that. Oh, solid. Yep. Look at that. Straight in the top again. Yeah, they got a good hook up. Yeah. Oh. 110th orange back on the bugs mate. That um that's a good combo in here, eh? Yeah. And uh, hot snakes this time as well. Yeah, good combo. Yeah. He came right up off the bottom because I was winding up off the bottom and yeah. he's drilled it at the yacht. So that's cool. Mm. Awesome. Cool mate. Right, Enjoy. Fish on. On. Gee, that's some pretty rough bottom. I was bumping that thing over there. There's a lot of, a lot of timber, a lot of rock. I can feel that bumping over it. Oh yeah, it's a nice brim. Oh, look at that thing. It's a solid brim. Beautiful. So that brim is lurking around over all this submerged timber and rubble. Got little TRD bugs in hot snakes hopping along on that orange head. Buckle up, you just smash that on that Nedlock CWG weedless hook. There you go, nice creek brim. Fishing weedless with the Ned rig. All right, we'll send him up a little bit more because I fish these, you know, a little bit slower than other presentations. I like to make sure they're well centered. This is one of my go-to presentations for Creek Brim in terms of the Ned Rig. So I will fish it on a one tenth ounce orange Ned Locks if it's, if it's not snaggy, but if I'm fishing real snaggy stuff, this one tenth ounce Ned Locks EWG weedless hook is perfect for the brim. And I fish it with a 2.75 inch TRD Bugs. Lots of movement, I can pause it, it's buoyant so it sits up on the bottom. Yeah, and the brim just love it, they smash it. I'm battling the wind a bit today so it's tricky holding position. I'm just sort of drifting around on this rocky, rubbly, timbery flat at the moment. And I'm just fishing it with a, a shaky retrieve. So I'll give it a few shakes 
pause it to hit the bottom, give it a few shakes, pause it to hit the bottom, and, and the brim eat it pretty hard, as do the flathead and cod and other species as well that you come across. So this every area that I'm fishing has a lot of submerged timber, a lot of rocky bits and bits of weed and that as well. So if you fish a standard jig head, you can spend a lot of time mucking around, clearing the, the weed and stuff off and also getting it off the bottom when it gets snagged. So a weedless head just allows you to spend more time fishing, less time messing around, sorting out your plastic. When I come across some deeper edges, that's when I pull out this bloke. So this is Nedlock's EWG 1 5th ounce, and that's a 2.5 inch Z-Man TRD Craws in Drew's Craw. So that's going to sit up off the bottom, wave its arms around. But that's a uh, really nice colour for this dirty water creek stuff. I use it a bit to fish the deeper edges. Flathead love it, but Brim also love it. Just allows me to fish a bit faster, cover more ground, especially when fishing deeper water. Fairly similar retrieve to the TRD bugs. I'll just let it hit the bottom, give those claws a shake, and then I'll probably, what I do do is probably retrieve it a little bit further. I'm fishing a longer cast, so I give it sort of two winds Give it a shake, pause, give it two winds, and slowly bring it back towards me. With that one fifth ounce head, I can throw a long cast, which is good on the flats, so I can get it away from me, but good in this deeper water where I need that weight to get it down and on the bottom where the fish are a lot of the time. You just got to experiment. Sometimes they want that slow fall. Ooh, there's a little bit of a tap there. Sometimes they want that slow fall of the one tenth. Sometimes they just want that plastic dancing on the bottom with a one sixth or a one fifth. And I'm just fishing it on a light spin combo. So when you swim this guy in the water, his claws actually shake around a bit as well on the retrieve. So. Even when you hop it and give it a couple of winds, his claws shake. So the combos I'm fishing, I'm fishing Helios SX, Akuma Helios SX combos. They're a fairly light sort of combo. So they're in a one to three, two to four, three to six. I've got Akuma jaws on them, but any light spin reel is a good, good idea. And then braid wise, I fish eight or 10 pound braid and 10 pound leader, just so that I've I've still got that stopping power if I need it because in these creeks around structure, you are going to come across cod, jacks, good sized flatty, all sorts of different species. So you do want to be able to stop them and you do want that leader to not get chewed to bits. <laughs> 